I'm Superintendent Denise Juno. I want to start off by acknowledging the concerns in our community regarding coronavirus disease or COVID-19. We understand and we recognize how worried our families and staff are, and we are working around the clock to provide you daily updates about this evolving situation. As a reminder, there are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Seattle Public Schools. Our district's standard procedure is to send students home when any child is sick, and we are taking extra precautions for students with COVID-19 symptoms. These symptoms include a fever of 100 degrees, a cough, and difficulty breathing. If a student or staff presents these symptoms, they should stay home from school and should contact their healthcare provider immediately. If a student arrives at school with these symptoms, they will be immediately removed to a quarantined space and a family member or emergency contact will be called to pick them up. As a reminder, Seattle Public Schools does not diagnose students. Healthcare providers use criteria from public health officials for diagnosing and testing COVID-19. As of today, public health is not recommending closing schools at this time unless there has been a confirmed case at the school. Our priority is the health and safety of our students, and we are taking extra steps to prevent and contain disease. Schools are prioritizing hand washing when students arrive at school, anytime they use the restroom, and prior to lunch. Staff are reinforcing good hygiene and reminding students not to touch their face, to sneeze into a tissue or elbow, and to reduce physical hand contact. And our custodial staff have been working tirelessly to prioritize cleaning common and high traffic areas multiple times a day. We have also postponed all district-sponsored out-of-state travel for staff and students through the end of the year. This includes district-sponsored field trips out of state and international travel. Additionally, we have canceled all school day professional development and events that require a substitute until further notice so that we can prioritize substitute coverage in schools. This is a rapidly evolving situation and we want to ensure that students and staff are healthy, safe, and able to get home in the event of an illness. Finally, I want to thank our custodial staff, teachers, school leaders, parents, and community for keeping a strong focus on instruction, learning, and healthy habits. Thank you for going above and beyond for our students and community during this unprecedented situation in Seattle Public Schools.